You have 540 wishes for wish. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Kalen really wants that. <laughs> she wasn't a pity. That's like 20 pity, dude. So, what's going on, Genshin fam? In today's video, we are going to be doing a account review and we're going to be trying out the Abyss on a almost free to play account holder by the name of Kalen. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go to your level 90s. When her characters are at level 80, they are in progress. All the other characters, they don't use. They don't even level up their level one characters for free wishes for some odd reason. You have you have them at level 90, but you have them at level one talent. What the hell? C2, not bad. You have the right idea. All right, let's go on to Cookie Shinobu. Oh, HP and EM. You don't need to level up her talents. Got a good one. Nah, you know what? I've been wanting to get a four-piece set of this, actually. Mind if I switch um, switch some things around just to help your account a little? Yes, no? Yes? Okay, cool. All right. So for Cookie Shinobu, I would either... I would give them a Favonius, but you're not going to be really critting. So oh, you don't have any... Have you gotten the Black Sword three-star weapon? Cookie actually has an excellent weapon for her. Um, I think it's him. All right, we just got the, oh, the Dark Iron Sword. That's what it's called. We just got the Dark Iron Sword. Slap this on Cookie. Make sure you lock it. So the passive isn't going to be all that great, but you do get that EM. My my V2 bottle looks like Risley. Thank you, thank you. So this is actually not, and it looks kind of good on her. I'm not going to lie. Look at that booty. But anyway, this would be great on her. Let's go on to your Layla. Okay, Layla's good. Good talent. You have her almost C6? I'm kind of jealous. I am kind of jealous at this tenacity to the middle is perfect energy reacher this is actually pretty good i she doesn't need energy but she could battery oh you might not be getting that much but that's fine you, your layla is perfectly fine i actually really like her a lot layla is the second best shielder in the game so yeah she's she she is baby girl hey zoo what hey zoo is close to my heart and i can see you butchered him talents at 666 oh, okay c2 Four piece very near oh i can see you don't use him that much so we're not gonna be looking at him you're on the bright track favonius codex interesting choice you have so many good catalysts this is one of his best catalysts you will have a rocking rocking main dps with this ning wong she looks pretty good oh your talents are horrible c6 which is machine gun ning wong Two piece archaic Petra, two piece gladius finale. Weapons are for wits of, which is amazing. And these are pretty good stats. These are pretty good stats. Let me look. Are your artifacts all leveled up? Because you tend not to do that. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty good Ningguang. I wouldn't mind this. Join me. Uh, Tansa 877. Perfect. C0. Or Pishimi. Veritas. A good weapon. Honestly, good. Good. You me. She has a lot of energy recharge. Hold up. Where are you getting this energy recharge from? Not your... Oh. I guess you just have a lot of energy recharge subsets. Not bad. Some Mona action. Oh, God. Why do you have level 90 characters and you don't level up their talents? This is great. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't give her... No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I know you want to crit with her, but swap this for a crit rate where are you you have one right here that is so good and then nope nope you're swapping you need this on her level that shit up and she'll get some more hydro damage bonus and that crit rate will increase and you'll be fine coco me a pretty good coco me you have a lot of defense what the hell okay jellyfish is up that's fine why do you have so much defense child um okay oh oh uh, let's move on oh a triple crowned unit i am proud of you 
And it's Yelan, which is a great choice. Perfect. Let's see your stats real fast. HP? Okay. 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 Oh, please tell me you have crit rate on her. If you do not have crit rate on her, I'm going to be pissed. <sighs> I want to tell you guys something. Crit rate is more important than crit damage. If you don't have crit rate, then your crit damage is zero. Nothing. But I'll leave it as is. Nervalet. Pretty good HP. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we found another triple crown. This is great. Four piece Marachusi Hunter. Her. Oh, wait. Uh, it's still pretty good. Got a lot of HP on him. R5 prototype amber. Nice. Oh, uh, this is good. You're going to get 32% crit rate with that um, four piece bonus. So you're, you're fine. You're fine, though. You're fine. You're, you're, um, you're going to have around 60 crit rate. Tainari. Nice. EM. A triple crown Tainari. And you have him at C3, it looks like. Nice. Tainari is one of the best DPSs in the game, in my opinion. He's standard banner. You can get constellations on him, and he's easy to build. Okay. EM, nice. Nice. Veritas, huh, honestly, I love this weapon on him. The drip on this, it is, it, it is him. Like, I just like him. He is the moment right now. I like this a lot. And you have it at R4. 42. Uh, crit rate, again, it, it needs to go up. You have five, though. Pero why? You barely have crit rate. You're not using Heizu right now. So I would do this. You're not using Heizu at all. And this is a really good piece. So much better. Bro said aesthetics over meta. If you know me, I always say that. I love aesthetic. Why would you level up her, her elemental skill to seven? You level up her normal attack, then burst, and then elemental skill. You went the complete opposite way. C0, four piece blizzard. Okay. Uh, please be good. I'm not even looking at subsets right now. Okay. Okay. You you you, you dump you done pretty good. Okay. Okay. I like this. Okay. You gave her a sword that is based off normal attack damage, but you didn't level up her normal attack. That is odd. I'm just saying that. Okay, honestly, honestly, this is good. Kaylin, this is good. I like this. You, you're going to have around 80, 90% crit rate with 156 crit damage. Zhao with a lot of defense, but it's okay. Oh my God, he's going to start grunting. I'm not mad, but you are plunging with him. Now this, this, you get a damage bonus. It doesn't have its own multipliers like Ra Raiden or Raiden, however you want to say it. Um, So you're going to want to get this up because of his plunge damage. Just letting you know. So for him, I would suggest leveling that up. C0. Oh, Vermilion set. Okay. Oh. I'm not mad at the energy recharge because he has a lot of energy issues. So I understand that. Crit rate. Nice. You got some good pieces on him. Oh, you have a Skyward Spine, though. That, you know what? Skyward Spine is a really good weapon on him. I actually kind of prefer it a little bit over his own weapon just because he has energy issues and has a really high base attack. You have a little bit more energy recharge than I'm comfortable with. So I would suggest changing that to something in attack. You don't have an artifact right now for it. The four piece bonus set is nice, but a two piece two piece bonus set for him it's much better with the subsets being better i would actually do a two piece gladiators finale or something or a two piece veritas at very near on him shenyan one one a okay supportive shenyan nothing not mad four piece very near very near perfect Okay, so animal damage on Shenyan, unless you are using her as a main DPS, which I can tell you are not because her elemental burst is the only thing you leveled, this needs to be attack. It, can, it should not be anything else. All her buffs, 
her healing are based off attack. Like, this is pretty good. I much you rather do this. And then you don't have another crit rate. So just farm that. And we'll leave this as is right now. Why the hell do you have so much attack on her? I see why you think the umbrella is the i mean it, it is her like where you get big numbers but at the same time you need to know level up her normal time she does get geo infusion which is great unless you are just using just picking up crystallizations with your other characters and doing damage and then going into her just for the gunshot which is fine if you play her like that but you're not using her to her full potential okay nighttime whispers nice i feel like this is gonna be attack oh no it's not why do you have so much attack on her wolf's gravestone ice okay pretty your anavia actually looks really good you just gotta level up her talents you do not like talents my friend nahita one eight two this is it okay i'm not mad at this it's fine it's fine Four piece deep wood. Please be M. Please be M. Okay. Okay. Oh. You're using the Nahida crit critting Nahida isn't all that bad. But if you're not critting with her, you have 31%. That's fine. I'm not gonna hound you on this one. Benny boy. Whoa. You triple crowned your Bennett? Dude, if you get C6, you'd be able to main DPS Bennett. Or Peace and the Bless Oblige. Okay. Weapon. Okay, perfect. That's fine. You want the highest base attack you can get, but this is good. You use it for energy recharge and some healing. Okay, okay. I I, I like this Bennett. Shungling. Oh, okay. Her talents are great. C3. That C4 is so nice to have. Artifacts that nice. Dragon's Bane. Perfect. Okay, I'm not mad at this. You just need to work on your crit rate, crit damage ratios, but you're fine. Alright. Right in Shogun. Oh. Chip. What am I looking at? What? Kaylin, um, I, I see your, I see what you're imagining. I see what you're imagining. I see it. I have this set on her too. I ha okay. So this set is only good if you have pure EM stats on her in a hyper bloom comp with Nahida, Nuvalet, or another hydro character. Her main stats, you have them as you would have the emblem of severed fate so i would not be mad if this was em i don't even know if i could use like emblem you really want to force emblem of severed fate on her so I, I i'm sorry if you got some wrong information all right we're gonna have to fix her oh 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 give, give it here give it here give it here this is so much better this is so much better she's gonna hit hard all right let's go back to your songling two-piece set like this you're gonna get some em with her she just doesn't have crit rate you're not using jing q right now this is so much better now let's go ahead and pick our abyss teams now for this abyss uh we're gonna switch nahida for Yalan. This is going to be one of the first teams of the Abyss. I want to use your Arlecchino, but they're not built right now unless I take apart some units. I mean, I could use Kokomi for the Hydro and the Bubble Pop, but Arlecchino is not going to heal. That's the thing with this, this side. I can replace Bennett and have him on the other end. I mean, shit. Honestly, sub DPS Navia. All right, perfect. All right, let's see what do you have for her. Oh, you have the white tassel. We might take this. You have stuff to level up the white tassel. The white tassel would have been beautiful on her. Spear. We're gonna take this from Zhao. We don't have another crit rate weapon. All right, let's build her. Perfect, 18, 18. 3,000 attack, 69 crit rate, 136 crit damage. Can't upgrade her skills yet. Okay, perfect. All right. 
These units are good. We need to go to Eugene Q because we built Shang Ling. We're using Arlequino and we are gonna use her with Bennett and then Jin Q on here because he was our only healer. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Nice damage. My lord. <laughs> Layla is amazing. All right, let's keep going. Do this. All right, Caitlin, this shit's going great. Dang it. Well, I got the bond of life anyways. But as, all right, let's keep going with this. I'm liking these teams. I will say that you're- I'm literally shielding your your Navia, which is great. <laughs> oh my god! This is this this is going great. I totally forgot to do this, but it's fine. I'm not gonna get that much of a damage bonus. Bro, stop! There we go. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want Arlequino now. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want Arlequino now. That they take forever to explode. It's like why? Body and mind. Huh? Rain cutter. Torn to oblivion. Perfect. We are doing this. And then Navi comes in and just. Ah. Oh, oh, Navi, you're great. You're dead. You're almost dead. You're dead. And boom! Dead in one rotation. I wonder if we're gonna be able to just go all the way. Your builds aren't complete shit. You're in the right direction. You just needed a little tweaking. All right, I hate these. We're gonna have to go through them fast. Everybody 
Everlasting as the moon! Not now! Game's up, from Silva. Oh no. There we go. Oh, nine seconds. Gotcha. Let's light it up. Do you work it? Here comes the catch. There we go. I'm 85%. Let's 80%. We got this, we got this. Gotta just draw the aggro on us. Shine down. Hey there. Attack. Nice. Range outline. Face. Grand cutter. Seventy-four percent, guys. This is going actually. All right, we're getting to the harder stuff. Oh, forgot to do this. Transfixed. Gotcha. Everybody, stand back. Stars and shine through. Everlasting as the moon. Did I just throw him in the ground? Fire! Well, let me leave you a verse. Rain outlines your fate. There is no escape. Torn to oblivion. Illusion shattered. Oh my god. Move! Need a little bit more work. 
um but they are better much better than they were before so i mean we were able to get the three stars on all the other floors except floor 12 i do apologize uh, you need to work on your characters you do need to level up your talents and in the correct order give them some more crit rate and then focus on crit damage your arla kino is really good actually she's not bad she has 110 em 3000 attacks 70 percent crit rate and some crit damage so arla kino i would suggest having her as one of your main dps's your right and shogun is much better than we started of course more crit rate will help but i would focus on those units i would suggest ignore the recommendations for the talents that the game gives you and search a build guides or anything like that because you also need to think about how your character works and what talent they are going to be using is it going to be the normal tech the elemental skill elemental burst as well or the way you are going to play the character like for navia i was using her elemental burst to get her shrapnel stacks and i was not using her normal attack so it all depends on how you are using so if you use her as a sub dps just level up a little bit her elemental burst you don't even have to level up her normal attack and that's perfect as well overall you have a great account and you have a lot of great characters you just have limited resources but you are doing fine you are on the right track you were misguided in some sense on some things but this account is far from horrible. It is really great. So thank you again, Kaylin, for letting me, you know, just re revamp your entire account. I swapped out a lot of things and you let me try your abyss. Your abyss, once you get your characters up, that 412, you'll be able to 36 star the abyss as well. Again, thank you so much. And Kaylin is also a streamer just like me. I'll plug in a link in the description below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It will mean the world to me. And I'll see you on my next video and hop by on my Twitch for more things like this.